In my video called Atmospheric Lensing Debunked, I pointed out that objects at different distances beyond the horizon all disappear at the bottom at the same horizon line. This observation clearly debunks any flat earth excuses that the horizon effect is caused by any form of refraction or any made up form of fluorspective. It only makes sense that the universal observation that objects become hidden by the horizon is caused by the curve of the Earth. You can further demonstrate this fact by increasing your elevation. If the Earth is curved, elevation will move the horizon farther away and reveal more of the Earth's curved surface. So, I flew my drone straight up near the same location in Seal Beach looking at some ships and Catalina in the distance, and it shows exactly what you would expect from a curved Earth. At near ground level, these two ships and Catalina behind them disappear into the same horizon, and all the water in between them is hidden behind the curve. But the higher you go, the farther away the horizon gets, so you can see more and more of the water behind the ships. My drone was fighting some strong winds, so it bobbled a bit, and I edited some of that out. I'll be happy to provide the raw, uncut footage if anyone doubts that this is real. Also, my drone camera has a wide-angle lens, which makes distant objects appear smaller. So I zoomed in somewhat digitally, so you can more clearly see the boats, and the island, and the water in between as it rises. By the way, you can see that the water changed color dramatically at a line visible here. This is apparently due to the depth dropping off rather suddenly, as you can see in this topographical map. So don't confuse that line with the horizon. When I reach my peak height of about 250 feet, or 76 meters, you can clearly see water in between the ships and the island that was not visible near ground level. This is exactly what we expect from a curved Earth, as illustrated in this animation, which of course is not the scale. The higher you go, the farther away the horizon gets, as indicated by the vertical line at the bottom. The light blue region represents what you can see above the horizon. As you climb, the distance to the horizon increases, and your angle of view over it also increases, so you can see more and more of the water beyond the ships the higher you go. Catalina is about 28 miles or 45 kilometers away, so at my maximum height of 250 feet, I still was not able to see the island down to the waterline. At that height, the horizon is about 19 miles or 31 kilometers away, so the shoreline of Catalina is still hidden behind the curve at that height. To see the shoreline, you would have to climb to about 500 feet or 152 meters. If the Earth was flat, you could see all the way to the shoreline with a sufficient zoom in clear conditions, even at low heights. As I pointed out before, there is no reason that the boats and the distant island behind it would appear to share the same horizon line at low heights you should always be able to see the water extend all the way to the opposite shore. But that is never what we see. Increasing your elevation is another way to demonstrate visually and directly that the surface of the Earth is curved. No flat Earth attempts to explain this observation remotely work. I challenge any flat Earther to do this type of observation and explain the results. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these other Flat Earth debunking videos. And please like, share, and subscribe.